And then we have the Egyptian paintings that show us the very large beings next to the very small beings. Some people say it's perspective. Well, I claim it's not. Um, I believe that it's really showing us that there were very large beings and then very small beings or normal beings next to the giants that used to live in Egypt and that part of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, that is no longer the case because this man here, Mihol Ledwood, who, as you can see, kept some very interesting company for 17 years of his life. He was the advisor to the popes at the Vatican. Uh, Mihol is a walking encyclopedia and one of the wisest men I've ever met. And he knows so much about this ancient history. He's a scholar of the Bible, scholar of the Hebrew language. And he found while he was studying that the, the opening text of the Hebrew Bible does not start with the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Aleph, or the A in the Hebrew alphabet. All sacred texts must begin with the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is A or Aleph. Well, at the moment, the current um, reading in Hebrew says, Barashit, bara Elohim, et ha shamaim wa et ha earis, which doesn't even make grammatical sense if you break it down. And we clearly see that the first s statement in the Hebrew Bible starts with Beth, the second letter, or B, second letter of the alphabet, and that should not happen. When Mihol inserted A or Aleph, it suddenly says Abba. Abba means father, and suddenly it changes that opening statement completely. It now says, the father of the beginnings created the Elohim, the heavens, and the earth. What does that do? It changes everything. It suddenly brings Judeo-Christianity in line with all ancient cultures and ancient civilizations when we know there is a father of the beginnings, a source for all creation. And that source seems to be sound and resonance. And this resonates with all ancient civilizations when they tell us that everything was brought into creation by sound and resonance. And the common denominator in the sound and resonance that brought things into existence. The common denominator on planet Earth and the common denominator between humanity and all ancient cultures is our obsession with gold. This brings us to the end of this episode.